One of my least expected announcements from Forza Horizon 3, wide body kits. Like, Forza adding wide body? What? Like, that was probably, like, the least expected announcement because, again, it's just something that you wouldn't expect Forza to add. It's just, like, we, we were using sticker body kits for the longest bloody time. Anyway, so this is beautiful. I needed to make a video on this because, obviously, I'm, I'm the customization, I'm the customization person. And also, we're going to give a go at some drifting in this video just to see what it's like. Now, I don't know the exact performance of this vehicle or the stats or anything or the handling, tuning, that sort of thing. So... We're basically going in blind and turning the assists off. It did slide quite well at points, but again, a little bit more power and it would have done better. Is the handling any different? A little bit, but it doesn't seem that big of a difference. I'll probably do a video on handling as it felt very shortly. So again, straight away at the beginning, as soon as I possibly could, went into the settings to change how the car handles. And again, turn off the uh, traction control, that sort of thing. You get the idea. So anyway customization what do we know about customization so we know that it's on the bmw m4 we've got a liberty walk body kit and we also have rocket bunny kits available in the game that's pretty much all the information we get other than that it's going to be on some cars and not a lot of them obviously because not a lot of the cars have those kits available and those are the only two kits announced thus far that'll be in the game now this is where i'm going to get a little bit speculative because i saw a behind closed doors demo of forza and it basically allowed you to see the open world and a few more aspects of the game. And I was a little bit intrigued by what I saw. So in the BMW M4 customizations, there was an option to put on a wide body for the BMW M4. They showed us applying the kit. And what happened with it is that I don't know if it was just for the demo. That's what I'm going to be clear here. This was a demo to show develop, um, sorry, media how it would work it's a very simple build of the game with literally like five, probably like five not even that percent of what's going to be in the final game content wise so basically they went onto the bmw m4 and then they went to the right to choose a kit and it put on the wide body put on the rims put on the color scheme everything now this is where i'm getting speculative keep in mind this is speculation it is not fact it is based on what i saw in my brain assuming things okay so I saw it apply the rims. I'm a little bit interested to see how this is going to work. Are we going to be limited in the fact that when we put on a body kit, it's going to put on all the stuff for us? Obviously, maybe we'll be able to change the wrap, that sort of thing. But maybe it puts the rims on for us. Because they said these rims were specially designed, but again, they might be just showing them because obviously they, they got asked by the, the rim manufacturer if they wanted to make rims for this. So it's, it's, gonna, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting indeed uh, how it's all going to work. Again all speculation may even just be you put on the body kit you put the rims on you put the the you know you do the tuning yourself so the wheels come out space out a little bit more we don't know but from the demo they put the kit on and it went on with the rims and all so that's i'm really interested to see how that you know how it's actually going to be in in the final game but either way body kits are in the game and obviously all the forza stuff is going to be in the game i, I decided i wanted to go up the mountain explore it didn't let me there because it reset me so yeah, it's, it's, it's really all something where actually adding body kits to the game because a lot of Forza people wanted it. Honestly, in my opinion, I, I'm like, I love body kits in the game. Any game I can get body kits in, I will go for it. I will put it on. I will use it. But with Forza, I never expected it because Forza doesn't seem, really seem like the game to have wide body kits in it at all. It's like the people saying they want Japan for Horizon. Where's the, the off-road? Like, Japan is a city. You're talking about Tokyo when you're talking about, about Japan. You're not talking about fields and stuff. They wanted to go into to, to Japan and race up the mountains and race along the city and that sort of thing. That's not Forza. That's not Forza. Whereas Australia is Forza Horizon. Definitely Forza Horizon. Anyway, I tried to go across between these rocks and really, and really cock that up, didn't I? So anyway, back onto the main topic of customization and the, of the wide bodies in general. I'm hoping that there's obviously the ones for such as the, uh, the maybe the Supra. There's hopefully uh, kits for the Supra. There's hopefully kits for some of the like crazy cars that you actually see, like the higher end cars that also have Liberty Walk and Body Kit, um, uh, Liberty Walk and Rocket Bunny kits. You see like Lamborghini Huracans getting those and that sort of thing. If we could actually get those kits on this game, that would be freaking awesome that's the mindset with a lot of developers obviously there's body options you could put body options in but it means a car that someone and more people may like won't be in the game it's it's you know it's it's kind of weird as for the drifting i just wanted to talk about that for a second as i said at the beginning it's a little bit different but not massively different so 
it's uh, it's hard to say because obviously this is the only car we've been drifting other than that the only car that i drove was obviously the other two cars one i drove with assist which was actually the mustang which there were no crowns luckily and then, and then uh, and then there was the lamborghini which i turned the assists off which i it, it it felt, I mean, Lamborghini-ish, it's all-wheel drive. It, it's quite low on power in the fact that normally you would fully max out something like that if you were driving it on Forza. So I couldn't really say necessarily how it did to slide, and I wasn't intentionally trying to slide the Lamborghini. Whereas the BMW, I was trying to slide it, and it slid pretty well hit and miss. Just sometimes when I was going up a hill, for example, it needed a bit more power. Again, I, all I've got to really say, based on what I can see, what I've played, the handling-wise and changed-wise, there isn't really any difference when it comes to the drifting at all uh, and again if there is it seems to do with like obviously you know innovation in how more realistic the handling is trying to be in the fact that it doesn't slide on ice it feels much less like ice and maybe that's to do with australia being very hot or something maybe that's the, the excuse behind that and uh, the, the main difference in this game i would say is the off-road handling feels a little bit different uh, in, in that if you take a Lamborghini off-road, it feels a bit more noticeable than it did in Forza Horizon 2, which is a very welcomed change. So to wrap it up, I'm not exactly sure how the customization works thus far, but I'm hoping it's a lot more in-depth than the demo was showing. But other than that, I'm ridiculously excited for this game. I cannot wait to see more, to play more, to hear more, whatever it is. You know what to do if you want to hear more about this game. I've got some more information coming in the next few days once I start travelling home. I start to actually travel home today and I arrive tomorrow. 11 hour flight. It's going to be hell. But seriously, if you want to hear more about Forza Horizon 3 and other racing games, be sure to hit that like. Subscribe if you are new and let me know your thoughts down below. What cars do you want to see in the game with wide body kits? Or do you not care for body kits at all? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe and peace.